faster internet, speedy Wi-Fi, space-saving two-in-one device compatible with all major cable internet providers, the Netgear N300 Wi-Fi cable modem router. Eliminate monthly equipment rental fees from your cable provider and simplify your network installation with the Netgear Wi-Fi cable modem router. Utilizing next-generation DOCSIS 3.0 technology, this cable modem router supports internet download speeds up to 340 megabits per second, eight times the speed of DOCSIS 2.0. And with industry-leading Netgear technology, this 802.11bgn router delivers N300 Wi-Fi speeds, so your wireless devices have a fast Wi-Fi connection. You'll get better HD streaming of videos, movies, and music, more responsive online gaming, and faster file downloads. Equipped with gigabit Ethernet ports, you'll get the ultimate speed for wired devices such as network storage and make them all accessible throughout your home. Netgear Genie makes it easy to install, monitor, and control your home network. It's simple to set features like parental controls, guest access, and adding and accessing wireless storage is a breeze. Just attach a USB hard drive to the USB port with ReadyShare, and you have your own central storage drive accessible from any device in the home network. Buy the Netgear N300 Wi-Fi cable modem router to simplify and supercharge your cable internet connection and break free from equipment rental fees. Netgear. Faster internet. Speedy Wi-Fi. One device. Hi, I'm Tom. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to set up your new surfboard cable modem. This video will focus on the SB6190 model, but setup is generally the same for all the surfboard cable modems. Your box should contain the following items. The SB6190 cable modem, the power supply, Ethernet cable, and a quick start guide. Now, let's set it up. Locate a coax cable outlet where you want to install your modem. Connect the coax cable to the back of the modem. Next, connect the ethernet cable to the ethernet port on the back of the device. And then you can connect to a Wi-Fi router, a computer, smart TV, gaming console, or any other device that might require a direct wired connection. And finally, Connect the power supply and plug it into an outlet. The LEDs will light up indicating power, downstream channel, upstream channel, and internet connectivity. The downstream and upstream LEDs will illuminate blue indicating DOCSIS 3.0 mode. Now during installation, you may have to call your cable provider to assist with activation. You will need to give them the serial number, which can be found on the bottom of the device, and also on your quick start guide. For additional information, please visit our website. Thanks for joining me. When choosing a cable modem or cable gateway, most end users only focus on a device's maximum download speed. As cable internet providers increase broadband speeds, End users must now consider the number of bonded channels a device has to get service on a provider's fastest tier. For example, a 340 megabits per second cable modem using 8x4 channel bonding is not approved for Time Warner Cable's fastest speed tiers of 200 to 300 megabits per second because they require 16x4 channel bonding. What is channel bonding? Netgear uses channel bonding to bond up to 16 downstream and 4 upstream channels. Aggregating these channels together delivers faster broadband speeds, both to and from your home. With channel bonding, the more channels you have, the better. 8 downstream and 4 upstream channels is fast. 16 by 4 is better. For example, a standard Wi-Fi cable modem using DOCSIS 2.0 can only handle a single download and a single upstream channel. When there's congestion during peak usage hours on your provider's network, download speed will be limited to what's available per channel. You'll be limited to the available speed at that time. 
Netgear's CM500 high-speed cable modem and C6300 cable gateway use DOCSIS 3.0 to deliver channel bonding. These devices provide 16 downstream and 4 upstream channels to connect to your home. When there's congestion on the network, you still maintain a high download speed. Even if only 3 to 4 megabits per second is available on each channel, you will maintain your download speed of 50 megabits per second. These speed tests show the broadband speed over a congested network with and without channel bonding. Although the individual data rate per channel is low, the aggregate rate with channel bonding stays high. Channel bonding is also more reliable. If a channel goes down, you will maintain your download speed of 50 megabits per second. And 16 by 4 channel bonding is absolutely required if you want to access the higher speed data tiers service providers offer. In fact, Netgear C6300 is the only gateway approved by Time Warner Cable for its top tier broadband speed. These speed tests show Netgear CM500 and C6300 achieve maximum broadband speed from lower broadband data tiers with congestion to the fastest broadband tiers without congestion. Channel bonding is more efficient, more reliable and essential for high-speed data rates. Find out more about Netgear products with channel bonding at netgear.com. If you're interested in buying one of these products, links to all the products mentioned in this video are in the description down below. If you like and found this video helpful, don't forget to give a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.